adopt a growth mindset into our pedagogy. Nowadays, I hear this a lot from many schools. It's a welcoming initiative. A growth mindset helps students, faculty, as well as the school to be future ready. However, what is alarming is after they embark into a growth mindset journey, many schools struggle with continuing the efforts or achieving the desired results. There are many reasons for this struggle. Number one, lack of understanding. Knowledge and understanding of growth mindset may differ from teacher to teacher. There could also be a difference in understanding of growth mindset between the school management and the teachers too. Number two, lack of resources to support the growth mindset initiative. Many schools do not have the processes and templates in place to implement their growth mindset programs. Some download some templates online. But if those templates were created for a different system or for a different culture, it may not suit your needs. Also, if you are using various disconnected resources together, it may give rise to some confusion. Number three, lack of time. Teachers find it difficult to implement growth mindset the right way because of lack of time, which is very common in the life of a teacher, isn't it? So how would you implement growth mindset effectively in your school? I hear many schools say, at first we need to establish a common growth mindset vocabulary. Yes, you need a common growth mindset vocabulary. That's right. But that's not the first step. In this video, I will share the top three things you need to seriously consider to implement a growth mindset program for your school. The first thing you need to do is to help your faculty to develop a growth mindset in their lives. Instead of saying how we can help our students to develop a growth mindset, think how you can help your teachers to develop a growth mindset in their lives. When teachers adopt a growth mindset in their lives, they will be actively involved in guiding their students in your growth mindset program. Secondly, there should be continuation of the growth mindset efforts inside and outside the school. You're going on a growth mindset journey and you need parent participation to make it successful. Create opportunities for parents to get familiarized with the concept of growth mindset. Involve the parent support groups. Make them your collaborator in spreading growth mindset to the entire parent community. Provide parents with the resources and workshops to learn more about growth mindset. I believe the growth mindset of a child is the product of the growth mindset of their parents and teachers. The third thing you need to remember is growth mindset is not a subject and it's not an extracurricular activity. Growth mindset is a culture. A culture impacts every aspect of a school. Academic achievement is a byproduct of a successful growth mindset culture. So think beyond academics. Think about how you want to use growth mindset in your sports programs, extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities, in developing character and values in students, in the library, in the school canteen, at the school assembly, in school communications, parent-teacher meetings, and so on. 
a cultural change needs careful planning and execution create an environment where both students and teachers have the opportunities to boost and celebrate their growth mindset look into all these three areas now the next step is to explore each of these areas in detail Create a growth mindset implementation plan for your school. Create processes, resources, templates and vocabulary for effectively implementing a growth mindset program as well as to help your school community adopt a growth mindset that lasts long. And if you need any help with your growth mindset initiatives, you can always reach us at info at asmanyminds.com. Wish you all the best.